Hey, welcome back to From the Tech Desk by your RCX First Horizon Hobby. I'm your host, Brad Brooker. Today, we're going to walk through the steps you need to take to get your TLR tune, Arma Typing, ready for your next bash session. So before we start, we need to make sure we have a few items. You're going to need a motor and ESC. We're actually going with a motor and ESC combo by Spectrum. It's a 2050 motor with a 6S capable ESC, a scale servo, a receiver that's compatible to your transmitter, a pinion gear, and also some lipos. Now let's get started. Let's go install the servo first. Uh, the hardware is already on the vehicle itself. It requires a two millimeter wrench. Also the servo horn screw comes in a little screw package that's included with the manual in the kit. So you have to grab that as well. So let's go and get wrenching. The kit also includes servo razors. So this allows you to raise the servo to make sure the servo itself doesn't hit the chassis. So please make sure you use the correct one when installing your servo. Now it's time to install the motor. You'll need a 2.5 millimeter wrench, a pair of needle nose pliers, some Loctite, your pinion gear, and the included motor mount screws. Now let's get this installed. Now it's time to mount the ESC. Since we're using a Spectrum ESC in the vehicle, it actually has mounting tabs for this ESC, so it takes a two millimeter wrench to get the hardware out. Let's get this installed. Once the ESC is installed, now it's the time to hook up the motor. Now it's time to install the receiver. You'll need a 2.0 millimeter wrench to get the receiver box cover off. Receiver box off. This is a good time to put some double stick tape on the back side of your receiver to make sure the receiver doesn't move around. Once you have that, go and stick it inside the receiver box itself. Again, when you're plugging the servos in, make sure you plug in them in correctly and also correct polarity. So channel one is steering, channel two is throttle. So you have your servo leads all routed. Now it's time to put your antenna outside of the antenna tube. You'll need two millimeter for that. Once you have your antenna through the antenna tube and your servo leads all routed, now you can go ahead and install your receiver box cover back on the vehicle itself. There you have it, all your electronics have been installed. Now it's just time to charge your batteries and be ready to go. That's all quick and easy it is to get your TLR tune Arma Typhon up and ready. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more tips, tricks, and other helpful videos from your RC Experts Horizon Hobby.